Alright, hello everyone and welcome to Marvel Man's Game Room. Today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, uh, Dark Knight Trilogy, Batman, and Joker. And they have the Build-A-Figure pieces that are left for Bane. So let's crack open Joker first. Uh, let's get him out here. Shrabo. There he goes. Alright. Let's get this card out. Hopefully it actually has like real movie facts instead of just comic book stuff. Alright, so we got our base here. Which is, you know, traditional DC black plain black one with one peg hole or one peg not peg hole that's a peg and then we got our little card here why oh, so serious all right so real name unknown no name strikes terror really <laughs> no name strikes terror into the hearts of gotham city at citizens quite like the joker oh my goodness gracious what the f in a city overrun with larger-than-life criminals, the always laughing villain stands alone. What? That makes no sense. What? I'm confused. A complete psychopath with no moral compass. What? What's over the Joker, whose real name and identity remain completely unknown, is characterized by his white chalk skin, green hair, and permanent... Right? Right? I don't know what that word is. I can't say that word. Grin stretched across his face, but there isn't a single thing funny about the, this particular clown who only finds humor in the suffering of others. I don't understand part of that. Bio, like... No name strikes terror in the hearts of Gotham City's citizens quite like the Joker. Oh, no name. Okay. Okay. I get it now. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. That's my bad. <laughs> no name strikes... No name strikes terror in the hearts of Gotham City citizens quite like the Joker. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. But still, it's it's not from the movie. It doesn't sound like the movie. Joker. Anyway. So first, we'll take out our little Bane pieces here. We've got the Bane's head... You thought darkness was your ally. Bruh. I mean, it's not a, it's not bad. Yeah, let's let's try to look let's try to focus in on him. It's not bad. It looks it looks pretty good. I just, I don't like this bane. It's just stupid. Like I like the mask. The mask looks really cool. The voice Hardy chose for him was not the best. <laughs> In my opinion. But that's my opinion. Whatever. Alright, let's get his alternate hands out. Because Joker not only came with Bane's... He's got those hands. Dude, he's got a lot of hands. He's got more hands than everybody else. I wonder if you could swap these ones with the one with the coat. Just so that one would have alternate hands. Yeah, let's put Joker back there. So it looks like we got two close fists of each hand. We have... Uh, it looks like a hand for a gun. A hand to grab. It looks like a grabby hand. And then we got the weird hand motions he does when he's... Talking like this. <laughs> that was a horrible impression, by the way. You thought darkness was your ally. <laughs> I was born in the dark. <laughs> I was wondering what would break first. <laughs> I can't do that voice without laughing. 
your body or your sp your spirit or your body, <laughs> and he breaks your back. <laughs> All right, <laughs> enough of making fun of the voice. So it looks like Joker comes with. He actually looks like he's got another peg. So it looks like he could do a double peg here, like this. So that's kind of cool. I like that. He's got his money. Giant stack of money that he burns anyway, so I don't really understand why he has this. Like, why we, why he would have a stack of money on him. Not the figure. The figure makes sense. It makes sense. Didn't he have, like, throwing it or anything on there? No? Alright, so, boop. That's his stand. Well, in addition to his stand. Alrighty. Throw that in the side over now. Alright, so Heath Ledger Joker. Ooh, I'm some stiff joints. I miss some stiff joints, my friend. I don't know how I got these scars. My father was a drinker and a fiend. So he's got a gun hand, it looks like. Even though I prefer him with knives in this than guns. Plus the fact that he made a giant speech about knives and, uh, uh what was it, gasoline and gunpowder and stuff like that. They're cheap and stuff like that, whatever. Anyway, so, he looks like he's got that McFarland toy, uh, toe thing. He's got the double-jointed knees. He's got his little, uh, diaper. The McFarland diaper. Uh, he's got rubber on his chest area, or stomach area, so he can crunch his abs a little bit. Does look like he can move his head all the way around. I'm not going to do it. Uh, he's got that going. Looks like he's got the swivel at the bicep. Double jointed elbows. And he's got some wrist movement. Not much, but he's got some wrist movement. He's got... Rubber there, rubber there for more movement. I don't like that his ankles that joint jutting out. Yeah, let's put him on the stand and we'll move on to Batman. Eh. All right, so let's move. Let's move that over there. So now we're moving on to Batman. Now, after this, I will put this Batman with all the accessories minus the main pieces and the card on my Macari. I will put the link in the description. So if you are interested in this Batman with pretty much everything except the main pieces and the card, look up my Macari and you will find this beautiful little piece here. Let's get Bruce out. This card is not cooperating. I find it weird that it doesn't look like it's... No, it's not. It's not a picture from the movie. It's a picture of the figure, but not from the movies. So... Eh, that kind of is disappointing. apologize if someone buys this figure I had to kind of rip the back of that so that's gonna be what the box looks like I will send it in the box so you know less less opportunity for it to be damaged normal black stand this will come with the figure when I put it on boom boom and our little card here and yeah, that, that's totally the figure with a cloth cape. All right, here we go. Real name, Bruce Wayne. As a child, Bruce Wayne watched his parents 
watched as his parents were brutally killed in Gotham City's crime alley. Traumatized by their deaths, he devoted his life to becoming the world's greatest weapon against crime, the Batman. He's a master detective and an expert martial artist, but his greatest weapon is his mind. Batman has a plan for every occasion, as well as high-tech weapons, gadgets, and vehicles to assist him in, in his relentless pursuit of justice. Now, after 10 years in retirement, Batman returns. Okay, so that one is more to the movie. Like, the Two-Face one and the Scarecrow one were just generic Two-Face and Scarecrow. And I, I think the Joker is kind of generic, too. But the Batman is definitely from the movie. I'm pretty sure. Was it 10 years that he was, you know, absent? I don't remember. Anyway. So, we'll get all our Bane pieces here. So there we go. We've got a little pointed toe going on there. So we got one leg. We got two legs. I don't know why his legs is pointed. So there is legs. We'll build that bad boy and do a video on him at some point. So first, let's get out Batman's grapple gun. Trying not to get rid of tape. So that's a nice gold or copperish color. Batarangs, batarangs. So I'm only gonna take one battering out because they're they're all the same. So he's got three of these like goldish color batarangs. Not bad. Not bad. So put that back, because that's gonna be a pain in the butt later. Alright, let's get let's get Batman out of here. Come on, Batman, you gotta work with me here. Oh boy. One of those rubber capes. Ah, the rubber cape. Ah fun. There we go. Okay. So, clearly he's got a rubber cape. Unlike, I'm pretty sure the Ultimate Movie Collection Batman version of this one does not have a rubber cape. It's just weird that they decided to go with a rubber cape for this one. I don't understand what's going on with his feet, though. What is with the pigeon toad thing? Oh boy, that that hinge is a little muffed up. All right, so that's gonna suck. Okay. No. Ah. Let's try to pivot that foot a little bit. Oh boy, that's gonna really be difficult. Whoever gets this figure, I'm sorry. Whoever buys this, not my fault. Not my fault at all. If he breaks, on the other hand, that one is my fault. And I'm sorry. But I will try to repair him if he does break. Because that that is just very disturbing. Alright, so he's got his uh, McFarlane diaper. Going on a little rubber. So he can move his legs up and down. They're not going to move too much because it clearly is, would not be a good idea. He's got double jointed elbows, double jointed knees. Uh, he's got the uh, pivot at the ankle. That's a little muffed up too. The foot thing. You can turn his head all the way around. It looks like he's got. Does he have. Nope, he does not have another joint at the neck. Does have ab crunch and can move side to side like so. He's got this uh, rubber material so it's not too hard to move his arms up and down. Mm. Got the double. Double spikes on his gauntlets. So that's pretty much it for Batman here. If I can get him on a stand here. 
At least he stands well. All right. So let's zoom into these bad boys. All right, so that is the Build-A-Figure Bane, McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse, Dark Knight Trilogy, Batman, and Joker. So if you like these, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And he will be back in his box and on my Macari site for sale. Link will be in the description. So thanks, everyone, and I'll catch you all next time on Marvel Man's Game Room. Peace. Ho!